blade and quill. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a thick glass like this decorative bottle seen here. Using a pencil brush, a sketch bottle. It doesn't have to be flawless, uh, little imperfections can actually play in your favor and make your creation look cuter and more interesting. Okay, let's get started. Let's start by renaming the sketch. Decrease the layer's opacity. Create a new layer. Grab a brush and get the airbrush linear. Decrease the opacity and the size of the brush. To bring the color white to the foreground, click X. Alright, we are ready to start and we are going to paint the uh, reflections of the light on the bottle. Change the size as needed and follow the instruction that I write on the screen as I change sizes and also the opacity settings of my brushes. And also very important, don't forget when you paint these uh, light reflections to follow the shape of your bottle. Just like this here, you see I'm doing a curve, I'm following the curve of a bottle. Just take your time and everything will be fine. <laughs> Decrease the opacity of your layer and now grab the eraser. The eraser is not only used to erase mistakes, it can also be used to shape uh, shades or highlights or forms. Undo the eraser and decrease the opacity again and try to paint a line right here on the side along the very edge and with the eraser again you're going to shape this line and make it look better. Rename the layer white, create a new layer and rename it black. Click X to get to the black and change the opacity and the size of your brush and this time we are going to paint along the sides and the edges of a bottle. And here we are creating the effect of thickness as you can see.
epicness of the bottle is this really starting to take shape, don't you think? Decrease the opacity of the layer. Okay, so let's see again what we've done. We had the sketch, the highlights, and the shades. So let's create a new layer. And let's get a cyan, a very, very light cyan color. Let's change the opacity and the size of the brush. We still are using the same brush. And we're going to start to paint the sides of the bottle. Decrease the opacity of your layer. Create a new layer and this time use a blue color. Decrease the opacity and change the blending mode to screen. Turn off the sketch layer, go back to the black layer and decrease the opacity. We are going to rename the color layers. The first one will be renamed green and the second one will be renamed blue. Now turn back on the sketch and we're gonna create at the very top a new layer Call it brown. Now go on your color wheel and try to select a brown color that is very close to a cork color. It doesn't have to be perfect, remember this is a cartoon. Alright, it's a good idea to try on the side to see if you're happy with it. And uh, we are going to change the opacity and the size of the brush, so just follow the instructions as usual. I think this brown is better. Alright, Ctrl Z and let's uh, start painting the top of the cork. Create a new layer. And start painting the middle. We're going to rename this layer brown too. Create a new layer and rename it brown three. And paint now the very bottom. Don't be afraid to go back to the layers to make sure that they are well painted, that all the surface have been uh, covered. Okay, go back to brown too and decrease the opacity of your layer. And do the same for the brown 3. Brown 2 we are going to decrease even better and we are going to change the blending mode to multiply. Go back to the first brown layer using a different shade of brown. Start painting smudges on the top of the cork. Here the size of the brush is not important. We are just trying to create some type of texture. Create a new layer. Use a lighter shade of brown.
Rename this layer Light Cork. Create a new layer and rename it Dark Cork. Using a darker shade of brown, now paint some shades on the other side of a cork. Go back to the cork light layer and decrease its opacity. Create a new layer between the light and dark cork. Rename it Details. Using a darker shade of brown, you're going to start uh, creating holes in the cork. Now use a lighter shade of the brown and uh, start uh, putting little white lines on the side. It creates an effect of death. Go back to dark and you're going to now add some dark dots. Keep following the instructions that I type and change the opacity again and the sizes of your brush as needed. Now we are making uh, some uh, lighter dots and we're gonna now do the opposite. We're gonna add some dark lines on the side to create that effect of depth. All right, that looks pretty good. The only thing left to do is decrease uh, the uh, sketch layer opacity and we are done. So here is our bottle compared to the uh, reference picture. As you can see, I tried to create my own interpretation of the bottle. Uh, just remember these reference pictures are used to inspire you. So try not to imitate or recreate, but uh, instead try to be creative and inventive. This is it for today. Uh, next week, once more, I'll use a reference picture, but this time I will show you how to create a cute cartoon character. So see you next Monday, and until then, make sure to check out some of my other tutorials. Bye!